I love when people ask me how I deal with a cheating partner. Um, I am the kind of girl that they make TV shows like sitcoms out of breakups. I, I twice, okay, I'll admit it, twice I have lost my ever-loving motherfucking mind. The first time I lost my mind, mind you, this is my domestic partner. So we've, we've gone through it. Uh, the first time I lost my ever-loving mind, he, I don't even know what he did. He said something. And I was like, I, I, I'm done. I'm done. I'm so fucking done. So I was five foot one. Well, I was. I am five foot one. And at the time, I had a huge lifted Nissan Armada because I thought I was thug life in. It was so funny. Like, I couldn't even get in it. I needed, like, a boost. Somebody had to hold their hands and, like, shove me in. Anyway, I took everything in, that was his in my apartment. This was my apartment. I took all of his clothes, all of his shit, threw it. Didn't even bag it. Just threw it in the back of my Armada and drove to his job. Now, he works with, worked at the time, he worked with his best friend. And it was just the two of them in a warehouse. So, it wasn't like there was a group of guys. But, I mean, they were in a warehouse district. So, there was tons of people around. Here I come, 60 miles an hour, flying through the fucking parking lot. Screeching tires, coming to a stop. In front of his office. Fucking jump out of my truck. Like, it must have taken 30 seconds for my feet to hit the floor. Get out of the truck. Run around to the back. Hatch it open, take all his shit and just start chucking it. Like, full full on chucking it at his fucking car. I was throwing jeans, shirts, shoes. Like, you name it, I was chucking it out the back of my car, at his car. And I, to this day, wish that him or his buddy had their phone in their hand at the time. Because it would have been on video. And I'd share it with you. Because I just feel like we're so close. And I could share everything with you. Unfortunately, neither of them had it on video, and they were kind of standing at the window watching me do it like this. For like five minutes. Um, so yeah, I did that. And um, to this day, I'm referred to as the drive-by clother. I think it has a nice ring to it. Um, my domestic partner, husband, I guess, whatever you want to call him. You know, everybody gets technical with these terms. Um thinks it's hilarious and to this day reminds me of my shenanigans. I thought that was pretty uh, entertaining. But not as entertaining as the time we had just moved into a house together. And he took a phone call that I did not approve of. We just went to dinner. We were on our way home. We were making nice nice. Everything was okay, and he would not get off the phone. And he was talking to somebody that I felt he did not need to speak to at this time because we were working on our relationship. And I know I'm going to sound like a crazy fucking bitch, but I was like, get off the fucking phone, and he wouldn't. So I was like, all right, fuck you. I went in the house. Then I realized I left my takeout in the car, and I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm getting my shit. I'm hungry, you know? I had an enchilada-style burrito. I had... A Dr. Pepper, I was like, man, I want that shit. I'm going to go outside and get it. But I go outside and get it, and he's still on the phone. With every fiber of my being, I tried. I tried not to flip out. I couldn't help it. So I took the fucking food out of the car, and I was like, fine. You want to stay on the phone? You can stay out all fucking night. And I took the burrito, and I fucking smashed it into his windshield. So he has enchilada, rice, everything all over his fucking windshield of his car, and then I said, let me help you with that. And I threw my fucking soda on his car. So at 9 o'clock at night, he leaves to go find a car wash. I'm in the house packing all of his shit. It's his house this time, not mine. But I'm packing his shit. And I'm throwing him out. And, of course, we made up, obviously. But um, for like two weeks after that, birds were like sitting on the hood of his car pecking rice at <laughs> the windshield. So his buddy at work, same guy, of course, you know, because pff, whatever, I have no fucking luck. 
the same guy. Like, every time he sees me, he's like, hey, uh, I'd ask you if you want to get lunch, but we're getting Mexican food, and I think his car's had enough. I can't even, like, go and have lunch with these people without being made fun of now. Um, so, yeah, I've been that crazy bitch. Um, I think we all have. I'm just open enough to admit it. Um, I've done so many more crazy things that I could probably share at a later date. But um, I'm not ashamed at all. Like, I probably should be. I, I know I should be, actually. But I'm not. Because in anger, we do things that we probably wouldn't do when, when we're of sound mind. And if you think about it, the first thing I did, the drive-by clothing, was pure entertainment for everybody. I mean, I... These guys had a laugh for like a year on that. And the second thing I did, I fed stray birds. They were hungry. So I think that all in all, I gave back to the community, even though I was angry. So it all comes full circle. It's the circle of life. My anger fed birds. I'm going to go with that. Um, that is all for right now. I'm, I have, I mean, I, I'm the crazy bitch. I've done so many crazy things to my poor partner. Like, I don't even, I, I wouldn't be with me. I don't know why he is. He must be a glutton. For, he must like being, like, punished. He, like, he must really feel like he did something in a past life. <laughs> because I'm crazy. Like, forget even what I've done. Look, I'm sitting here talking to a camera about all these crazy things. And I'm going to post it so the whole world can see the stupidity of me and what I have done. I mean, yeah, I just, I guess this video is dedicated to all the crazy girls out there that have done crazy things in the name of love or whatever. Um, like, not the crazy bitches that, like, peep in your windows and shit. Like, that's psycho shit. Like, don't be fucking psycho. You can be a little crazy. Love makes you a little crazy. That's fine. Don't be fucking psycho. Psychos are not cute. Like, it's funny when, like, a girl throws her shoes at you and is like, fuck you, blah, blah, blah. Like, I laugh. I think it's hilarious. But, like, if a girl, like, is coming at you with a knife, like, that's probably, that's, like, above and beyond my level of crazy. Like, I'm over here on crazy. If you're, like, fucking threatening to hurt people and shit, you're, like, at this level of crazy. And I don't, I don't fuck with that level of crazy. So don't bring that shit around. Um, ain't no man or woman, guys. We're at that shit. So just throw fucking clothes at your dude. Throw clothes at your bitch. Fucking don't even bag it. Just throw it. Uh, throw food at their car. You know? That reminds me. I have another story to tell you later. I'll be back because my dog is barking again. She never lets me have like one day of peace. <sighs> anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Lost without you Can't help myself How does it 